so we've made it to the next step. And so here's what we got, got to do now. We're getting ready to match our video footage that we pre-recorded with our pre-recorded audio and sync them together to make our first track of video. Okay, because we're gonna have to do that for every piece of um, vocal that we did, but this is step one, and this is how you do it on every single one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one that we've already done green screen. We did, we're not the one that we did before in the previous video where we removed the green screen. We're just gonna use a raw one just for the sake of this video. So this is the simple process of doing that. So I'm gonna show you what you gotta do. Here's how it starts. You go in and you get your audio. Now, for those of you who are starting at the wrong part of this series, let me make this plain. Before we did our video, we went in and I sang right here, just sang all of the stuff, learned all of the parts and sang them all the way through and recorded them down in Logic Pro. Once I got finished doing that in Logic, then I mixed it, I mashed it, I did everything and I do everything in Logic. So you'll, you're gonna, we're gonna have to go check the videos when I start bringing that in later. But we do everything in Logic and we mix it, we master it, we get it ready, get all the levels, all of the fixes, everything we need to do, we got it perfect. Now that we got it that way, this is what it actually sounds like when it's done. Crowning with many crowns, the lamb upon the throne. Okay, so we got that audio done. So now we've gone back and we started to lip sync against that to actually get our video footage so that we'll have what we want because we didn't want to try to do it all at one time. It's just too much to do, especially since most of the time when you're doing this or when I'm doing this, I'm doing everything by myself. Not to mention, I don't want to have to learn every part of every song uh, like that because you'll make mistakes. You get, your voice gets tired. Sometimes it takes days to actually do it. So we've gotten that done. We've got the video footage and we're ready to get it all on here so that we can start syncing them together. So. Now that we've laid the audio track, let's go ahead and get our video track. I'm choosing this one, which is actually our alto track in this um, sequence, then I'm gonna link these up. So I want you to pay close attention to something that you see right now. You'll notice that I was singing on this video, but it, you'll see the audio track as well in the video. That's because I was singing along with the actual track. Now let me warn you in advance what's gonna happen. When you play this back by itself and you listen to it, you're going to think you're jamming. You're going to think you're doing well. But I don't care how good a singer you are when you cannot hear yourself because I was strictly listening to the audio track so that I can make certain that I sang tight with it. You're going to make a lot of mistakes and it's going to sound horrific. So to save myself some embarrassment, I'm not going to let y'all hear that by itself. But if you listen real well, you'll hear it mixed in in there. But what I'm more concerned with is syncing up the two audio tracks together so that all of a sudden I'm singing along with the actual track. And remember, you have to do this for every track, whether it's the bass, the soprano, the alto, whatever, you have to do this. So here's how you do it. First things first, it's not linked up right now. Watch the screen and you'll see. The track is already playing and I hadn't started singing. So we gotta link that up. So here's how you do it. You cannot do it when it's like this. You go over here to the right, you wanna slide this slider over maybe halfway, maybe a little bit more. The further, the better. Once you slide this over, then you can go to the beginning of the track and now you can see where the track is and how the track looks. So the easiest way to do this is this. Come up here, grab your video track and slide back. Let me grab that and slide. Let's grab, oh, let's, yeah, let's grab that and see if it'll do it again. Uh, it doesn't wanna do it. Of course it doesn't wanna do it because there it is. We grab it and we slide and we're sliding back until we line up the audios together. So once we get close enough, they will actually work. So watch this. Crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon the throne, and he... So we know that we're getting very, very close. Now we probably can get a little bit better. It's really close. Uh, it's almost perfect. Um, and it'll be that way all the way through. I'm just gonna slide it just a smidge, just to see what it does. Crown him with many crowns. And what I'm doing is I'm watching, I'm not listening to myself on there, I'm watching my mouth against the track. And then you can, once you get it linked like this, the best thing to do is to grab your audio track where you see where it says address volume, turn it all the way down. That way, all you're hearing is the main track, and you're watching the video. So now watch again. Crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon the throne, and here. 
that's pretty darn close right there. That's where you want it. So now we got our track the way we want it. It's synced up. We know where we're going. We know we got it. From there, guess what you do? It's real simple from there. All you do, go over to file, dump it, label it, whichever the part is. Now that you got it, you're gonna bring it back in, all right? Once you bring it back in, then you're gonna start to build the actual uh, file. So I'm gonna do another video showing you how to build it from there, okay? So just a quick uh, review. What we did was we synced the two tracks together so that I'm singing along with the track, okay? That's what we just did. That's what you need to learn how to do. That's the that's almost the easy part, except for you gotta do it for every part. If you're beatboxing, if you're uh, singing, if you're clapping, you wanna record the claps, you wanna put all of that in there, you wanna record all of that and make that sync up, and you gotta do that for each and every piece, and that's how you do it. Yep, you match it up based on the sound because we don't have a time code because we're working in iMovie. So it's easier to do it that way. Okay, now listen, if you're enjoying this, you're loving the series, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Well, no matter what, click subscribe, share this with somebody, tell somebody that's um, interested in it. If you got any questions about it, put them in the comment section so that I can get to you and I will reply, reply to these comments. I want to help you out and show you what we're doing. Now listen, we're in the process. I'm showing you as I build my video, I'm actually showing you the process of doing it so you can actually recreate you, recreate this yourself. Understanding that I, the only thing I'm using is iMovie, Pages, and Logic. Those are my three main programs that I get this done in. So that's the process. So yeah, it's going to be fun. We got a long way to go. Hey, I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Oh, <laughs>